Welcome back to another video review. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the One Tigress Open Top Flashlight Holder 04. Alright, so this was a product that One Tigress reached out to me and asked me would I take a closer look at it and I said sure. Uh, thank you once again One Tigress for supporting my channel. I really appreciate that. So let's take a closer look at it. Alright, so it comes in its standard One Tigress packaging. Uh, the SKU number for this item is TG-DTB04-BK. Inside the packaging, you get the flashlight holder and it does come with a card. Uh, basically just their One Tigress Life card because this is part of their One Tigress Life series. And then on the other side has all the abilities to contact them on social media. All right, so the flashlight holder comes in at $12.99 US dollars. Uh, you can get this off their website. Uh, it is a new product, so I'm unsure if they have it anywhere else yet, like Amazon and some of the other sites that they use. But I know for a fact at this point, they do have it on their website. Uh, it only comes in the one color, which is black that you see right here. It's made out of a 1000D nylon. Has an adjustable height of 7 inch to 10 inches in height, depending on how you adjust your straps and the bungee and uh, this retaining strap. Has a width of 2 inches and it holds the item of uh, 1.5 inch in diameter. Uh, uses the open top design. Uh, as mentioned, it's using uh, bungee retention straps. Uh, so it is adjustable and it does have these adjusters on the bottom and then you can knot it. So once it's at its proper size and you've adjusted it, it'll uh, retain that size for you. Also, another point of adjustment is this bottom hook and loop strap right here. So that uh, if you want something that's a little bit longer in there, you can. Or you can put it to a small size if you wish. Also on the front here, we have a loop panel. So if you want to attach a patch, you can. On the top and bottom, it does have two D-rings. So that you can attach another item. I use this actually for pulling the strap back off the flashlight. And then on the bottom here, I was using this to attach my key ring. All right, so basically that's the front. Uh, also has a retention strap right here for holding your item in. On the back here, it's using the Molly system and it also has these two hook and loop straps here. Uh, the Molly system doesn't use any snap buttons or anything for attaching it. Basically, you weave it in and out. And then when you're done, you fold this over. And then if you're worried about it coming undone, uh, because there is this strap right here that holds it in place. And I had no issues when it was attached to a Molly panel that I was using. Um, these hook and loop straps here are for using uh, for a duty belt. So if you want to use it uh, horizontally, you can. So for example, I have a 1.5 inch belt here. It is good up to a two inch belt. And then you can attach it and hold it on your belt that way if you wish. There we go. So yeah, so it has three abilities of attachment. Uh, you can also use these D-rings and use a paracord or maybe a set of Grimlocks or a carabiner to attach it to whatever item, your backpack and such. All right. So, for example, for a flashlight, I'm using the Claris XT11 GT here. Uh, this flashlight has a one inch diameter. It does get a little bit thicker up here near the top. This is 1.25 uh, inches in diameter and it has a length of about 5.5 inches. Uh, so a little bit of a standard flashlight, I would say. Uh, there's longer ones, there's smaller ones, but I would suggest on this, because I was using this with the smallest setting, that you have a flashlight that's at least 5.5 inches in height. So, all right, I'm just going to put that in. All right, so when this is on you, it's a little bit easier to get the flashlight in and out. So I have used this on duty. 
uh, doing security at events. Um, this is on the small sighting uh, setting, I mean. And as you can see here, uh, just the head here is sticking out. So that's why I mentioned that you should have at least a flashlight of that length. Um, it does have this to hold the flashlight in once it's all adjusted and tightened down. Uh, it holds it in, retains it very well. I had no issues. I was running around and such a uh, little bit, having gained around the vent, and I didn't lose my flashlight. Holds it in nice and tight. No issue whatsoever. So very pleased about that. Um, I've actually used uh, a taco pouch that was for a pistol make before that had all that type of retention, but it was open top, didn't have this support strap here at the top, and I actually lost my flashlight. So I was very pleased that they included this to retain your item into the pouch. Uh, as mentioned, it is adjustable for height. So if your flashlight is longer, then you can readjust this or I can just leave this flap open and your flashlight can hang out. But I suggest if it is that way that your flashlight's longer, that the head is a little bit bigger so that it doesn't slip out, but you could do that as well. I'm just gonna take the flashlight out now. All right, so I wanted to just, I was curious, so I grabbed some of my airsoft mags. So I have one here for a Glock 17 and one here for a Sig Sauer P226. Um, this is an extended uh, cap mag mimicking that. So I just wanted to show also you could use this for magazines for your pistol. I would suggest though, uh, like for example, the Glock 17 here on the smallest setting, it's a little low, so a little bit hard to grab. But what I did notice that if you're using extended mags, it gives you on the smallest setting just the right amount to be able to grab your mags if you need to. So you could use these um, for, uh, you know, magazines that are uh, a little bit higher capacity, I would think, if you had extended mags. Um, this might even work with something like an MP5 with their 9mm nine, uh, nine straight mags or maybe uh, some of the other uh, straight mags that you can get on the market that are 9mm uh, for airsoft or even probably for the real steel um, because as mentioned this is adjustable up to 10 inches so you could have a mag and then this could go down a little bit longer too so those mags are usually about that long this would probably fit that with no issue at all so I'm very happy with this I had no issues with it. Um, it's made out of very good quality material. I was a little bit curious if it was made out of Kadura, but they have no mention of it and it didn't come with the cards. So I think it's just a standard 1000D nylon. But yeah, very nice product, very happy with it. Um, I recommend it. I was actually using just a standard uh, flashlight pouch that came with my flashlight. And I had to readjust it. It really wasn't good for uh, using on the Molly or the Pals webbing. And uh, yeah, I just got burned because the flashlight was getting turned on by the flap. So I just I appreciated this one a little bit more. And so yeah, great product. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Have a great day. Have a great week and take care.